Guys, what's up? Sniper Godzilla here, and today, guys, I'm back with another GTA 5 episode. Today, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the gate launch glitch on well, pretty much like a tutorial on downsides and co pros and cons about this. But, um, what you guys want to do is you want to come to this place here, I'll show you on the map now, which is just around here. It is pretty hard, but if, um, Normally just look for like one, like a massive loop here with like a dick pointing out. But um, or if you guys are Michael, like to stay with Michael, you j you're right next to it. Just drive out your damn house and there's going to be like a door right here. But for those who like to stay either Franklin or um, Trevor, pause this video right now to try and calculate where I am approximately and try to go there um, as fast as possible. Not really, sorry guys. Um, just get there if you want to do this glitch. For those who want to just stay Trevor and Franklin, I'm Franklin. As you guys can see with the slowdown ability, whatever. So, um, what you guys want to do is, you want to have a sports car and have the Rapid GT cheat code on you. Make sure you guys have that because you're definitely going to need that in case your car gets blown up or you die. If I die doing it, I'll show you guys the way from the hospital here. So, um... Like I said, on this spot, you want to come down to this this fence right here. You're going to run straight into her. You're going to hold L2 and R2, RT, R, LT or RT, and you want to swing your car to the left, right, sorry, it, towards the bush. But um, by the looks of it, this car is a bit too heavy because I don't even think this is a sports car. Also, guys, I'm just starting out on GTA 4 Valley. What the frig? What's wrong with you, bitch? Where'd your big bitch ass come from? You know what the fuck this. What a dope. Money. It's also good if you have a uh, person there because the gate can also stay open and all you have. Okay, I made a mistake there. Oh, Lamborghini! I should have just take that. But like I said, guys, all you're gonna need is a sports car and you just want to swing it to your right towards the bush. Yeah, this car's a bit too heavy. I'm gonna go kill that Lambo. I like to call them Lamborghinis instead of Pegasus. Where the fuck that guy went over here? Didn't it? Yeah, you hit the car, so I get to take your car. What the fuck? I just... Did anyone just see that? I just, like, glitched into him. And then came... And then punched him, like... Man, this game is weird. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna come up here. and see if we can do it with this car, because apparently this car and the Sister Elemental are the best cars to launch with. Hold up. L R2 or L2 Try and do the thing And see if it'll launch you And this thing has multiple varieties on what it can do It can launch you forwards, backwards, sideways, up in the air To blue hell, it can do anything If you guys want to go to blue hell um, You need a door that's very You need one of these that are very very glitchy That's for sure You want one of those and what you're going to do is, you're going to keep rebounding off at least 5 to 10 times. And then then it'll stop, re pretty much just keep going until it stops rebounding. Hold L2 and R2, or LT and RT on Xbox and PS3. They're the only ones, I don't know about PC. And just hold your analog stick forward. And um, that you, sh you should be able to do that, and that should let you... Because I did it with this other car, half of it was in the ground. It was impossible to drive. I nearly fell down. So you guys, <clears throat> you guys want to do that? Like I said, guys, this skate glitch is hard. It takes around two to ten goes. It took me 25 by the time I got to um do it.
See like that, you want you want to make it make sure you, it rebounds you like this. That's how you know if you're gonna do it right. The gate's gonna close, that's very good. That's good. That means you're on the right track once you do that. That means it's active. It should be active then. Then all you have to do is get in the right position, swing without making a mistake, or it going forward, which is pretty hard. You should launch me. There you go, guys. See, you, you'll know once you get the hang of it. But, um... Th that's about it. That's about all I actually have for this game. Oh, shit. Um... I also promised you guys that I was going to show you the... other way to it, so I'll just kill myself and... So he's on the other side. So when you spawn, I don't think I'll spawn at that hospital though. I should have drove back. I just hope I spawn at that hospital because if I do, it'll be a lot more easier for me to go there. And yes, I spawned there. There you go. Yeah, I know that's going to cost me five. Now, if you guys don't want to take a car here, just run to the back of the hospital, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people know. There's normally going to be a nice sports car there, or you can go back there and there's normally... There's normally four cars, but you can get more. And make sure you know which one's a sports car, if you know your cars. Take the Super GT if it's there. Do not take the Comet. Make sure, guys, you don't do that. Now what you guys want to do is, if you do find a car out here, you want to go up this street here, and you want to go right here, and follow this route all the way up. Now it's about half a mile, just about, it's, a, it's about 0 0.31 miles from there to here. And all you want to do is just drive up this hill, brake, to take a left, and then there, there's going to be the gate that you just glitched on. So, um, that's another way from that hospital. I haven't been to any other hospital yet. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a thumbs up on this video if you want to see more GTA 5 glitches. And, um, leave a comment in the description if you want me to do anything on this game. Um, if you want me to do a story mode, where I'm up to on a, like a story mode mission, just leave it in the comments, guys. I'll get straight back to you telling you, yeah, I can do that. But, um, if it's anything, like, out of the ordinary, like, um, spending all my money on something I don't even need, please, you can leave it in the comments, but I really won't be spending any of my money until I finish the game. And even if I finish the game, I don't think I'll be spending any money. So, but still, I'll do it for you guys if you really want me to. I'll spend all my money on a character that I don't even want. Well, I'm going to have to have him if I spend all my money on him. And um, I'll see you guys uh, on my next video. Zilla signing out.